up my bees. It's your king of the bees. And guess what? Uh, I got done watching Hostel. The film series. Just got done watching part three. And holy shit, what a great freaking conclusion to Eli Roth's uh, film series. Even though Eli Roth didn't direct the third movie. But I still freaking enjoyed it. So, anyway, my bees, today we are going to be reacting to uh, How to Beat Style Hostel. This is by the channel of How to Beat. Go, go sub to him because he is great at what he does. And uh, also, my, my bees, a little uh, announcement here for the next Wiki reaction video. She's going to be reacting to two bids one from How to Beat and then uh, one from Dead Meat, which you already know. Uh, that it's gonna definitely be Saw 5. So, um, here we go, my bees. Oh my gosh, I can't, I, I can't wait to see me something like this. Uh, oh, how to be, how to be, yeah. How to be. Oh. Oh. How to beat every trap in Hostel. I'll describe the video below, the original vid. Okay, let's get straight into this, my bees, in 3 pawn, 2 pawn, 1 pawn. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh wait, oh wait. Yes. 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 There's a countdown. Okay. Uh, and goodbye ad, because I don't care. Oh, you said, and often when you can experience this thing, 
money in the past, but I think the real reason this country is love Americans is because they think we're all rich. This is the perfect time to exploit black people who are worse. I would be getting worried that we're walking into a city full of people who want to take advantage of us and be very conscious about how you approach the rest of our population. Getting out of the city is our just best friend to do for their any quickly change and make a life of their lives. The place is very dense, and after checking in, they discover that they'll be sharing rooms with other guests, and it looks like they get the jackpot. After they're done dressing, the women invite them to a spa where the guys are happy to join them. The town is named from Russia, while Svetlana here is from Prague, and they're all very eager to get to know each other. That night, they all go to a club together, and the girls share their friend's stash and dance moves. But Josh here is feeling overwhelmed, and needs to get some fresh air. Outside the club, he almost gets spotted by a gang of children, but luckily, the creepy bitch sent from the train suddenly appears and takes them to Lale. The two of them go back to the bar where Josh apologizes for hurting her and notices a skin tattoo on the man's arm. But before he can say anything, he gets dragged away by the Talia and they all return to the hostel for a crazy night that Josh thinks will never be enough. Oh, I know what kind of stuff that I see. This guy's like a suit, and if you've ever talked to a man who cuts his leg on a train one time, love them more to make him feel bored. But for some reason, they'll be when a woman like this is persistently chasing you, it's sheer says it's a clear sign something was wrong. But that's not the end of oversight of women, because any drugs are stranger to that foreign country is never altered. This situation could be the end of them being forced to the victim. Oh yeah, my bees. Ellie Bob is in the first movie, but plays as an American stone. Even though they have harsh penalties for drug crimes, they enforce them every law, all relatively low. The next morning, they wake up in smiles of their faces, but see that their friend Ollie is missing. Passenger thinks he might be having breakfast, but there's quite a discovery that he's already checked out. Holly. Bobby. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Man, I hate ads like this. God. Why? Can I skip it? Can I skip it, please? You son of a bitch. You know, you stupid ads can piss off. I don't care. God, I need that shit. I really do. Not okay. These guys haven't caught on yet, but this photo gives them a right to talk. Not only do these two have seen this happen, where a couple who fell in love and ditched their friends, but whoever made this photo just ended up looking a disaster to photography and sticks out with a single phone. In this picture, the foreground and the background are both in focus. In case you were wondering how, the dead are viewed of a lens is set by Savage, but even at an f stop 22, it would be next to impossible to get this kind of photo depth with that steady this close to the camera. I would take this photo with the police so they can start looking for you because kidnappings happen the first 72 hours or where you saw and the clock is already ticking. Passenger and Josh had to walk around the town looking for their friend when they suddenly spot Ollie walking by and trying to get some attention. They chase him into this building and for some reason they realize it's a complete stranger. Pass him the man who knows he's not his dad, but the man who claims it belongs to him and leaves. Okay, you might say that having a plain fucking jacket is not enough to accuse a man of kidnapping and threat. There's one key note here that you write this man in red right off the bat. Because not only is his jacket the same color, but it also has a patch of I assume it's black. Their friend Ollie is who hides them, and on the day he goes missing, he finds someone the same jacket that has this hunch of black on it. This guy wants him to believe he bought it in a store in Slovakia. He must have been involved in the kidnapping somehow, and we can't let him get away. I would call the police and get you to follow me until they kill off some fresh air. Now the jacket that actually does make sense. Police have a visual advantage in solving this case because, according to Interpol, DNA databases now exist in all 27 of the European nation's member states. Although Iceland is not a country of member, they also have a leader in the field of genetics called Info, which has collected some of DNA data on citizens. So they have a sample of nearly half the entire Icelandic population. Damn. They can collect DNA samples from a jacket and match them to Info's database. Even though a very good chance the clue is obvious and lock this guy up. They walk back to the hostel and the passenger sends a message to all okay, of them. Alright, my bees. And they don't realize that their friend is he knows his stuff. Somewhere 
Also, packs and dies of some part two. Josh could have skipped that shit. Damn it! Oh, thank God. Why do you not, like, seriously, why does it not give irrelevant or those skip things? Like, Jesus, throw me. Like, Look, YouTube, you're a great platform and all, but would it just, just, like, at least give us the decency to skip the damn ads? Setup. Yeah. 
I wouldn't even give it a call. At this point, I think the best thing that I can do is protect myself in the United States. I hear it. Mm-hmm. Friends that you can find a lot of common with friends in this Saudi like shit smart friends of mine. I would have already done all that I could to help them, and that includes far more evidence to the the police. Getting up on your kidnap friends might seem cold blooded, but that can start to slow me loose, and I just really don't want to die. Dropped off in a parking lot? Yeah, she's a fast man. It is surprisingly full of tension. He's free. He's skeptical that this is an artist. With no other way to find his friends, he walks deeper into the complex and is horrified to find the basement and the frame operating on a dead flat. He can't believe what he sees, and an Italian here reveals a kidnapping of a lot of money to free him. Suddenly, he gets trapped and is dragged into a room where he's handcuffed and restrained in chain, becoming yet another tourist kidnapped in a hospital, and the door comes to see him. Okay. This is scary as hell, and we're not going to overpower these guys. Yeah, it really is scary as hell. We've already been sold to the highest bid, but that's exactly why we need to have one last chance to survive. This is clearly a business, and like in every business, money costs the matters. As a last ditch effort, I'd be offering them more money to become a customer and to help import more American care to increase their stock. At the end of the day, every profitable business wants to grow and increase their name. And if I offer to help them, this is why. It's worth more than that than serving the same customer. It's unlikely to work, but if we're not trying everything we can think of here today, then we deserve to die here. When the door opens, a guard comes in and manages him to speak. This customer wants to make sure he's chilling in America. The guard looks up and down at his mouth and leaves. Telling the pistol to his head, the customer's about to shoot him, but realizes it's too easy and changes his mind at the last minute. That's when Patsy hears the sound of a chain gun. The man approaches and raises away back to his chest. The pastor uses the bomb to cause him to choke. The man doesn't want him to die before he can get his money's worth, so he mocks the guy and lets him fall. But this man has no idea of what kind of kindness he would kill him. He takes off his chainsaw again and slices his own absent fingers off, not knowing he's also cut through the head house. Turning around, he sees the man running at him with a chainsaw, but the guy takes him a ball in it. The torturer falls to the ground, and the saw lands on his leg, cutting right through the bone. Patsy manages to pull the chair over and reach the gun just in time to get killed him. Outside the room, the guard sits down calm and jury and goes to check it out. But when he enters, Patsy turns around and shoots him dead. Okay, this guy got his pretty lucky, but who's smart about his escape plan too? Yeah. If the room is quiet for too long, the guard will notice, so the only way out is to call him in and kill him before she strikes him. But he also made it harder on himself than necessary. Drew back his permit, and not easy to fool around and shoot up parking or walk through the shade. We also have to consider that we have the only a couple bullets left in the gun, and we won't get a second chance at killing him. Personally, I would have said the right here sadly before calling out to the guard. I don't think he would have found it suspicious because his character moves through the scene, and we can still work our day and get a better show. Freeing himself from his shackles, he takes his cut off fingers and puts out of his side to speak to Jay Dad. He's about to escape when the lights turn on and his eyes in a nearby room, narrowly avoiding the guards. Inside, he finds a bunch of dead bodies stacked on pushcarts and cans when the light turns on. A man kneels and calls his out. He pulls into the halls, and the only idea that Patsy here is thinking a lot. He stages to the bottom floor in the middle of Jay's kitchen with a neck that is packing the park with seven inches. And when Patsy opens his eyes, he sees his dead friend staring back at him. And he makes one mistake, killing any up just like Josh. The butcher here takes a corpse off the trolley and knocks Patsy's fingers to the floor. He tries to grab them, but the butcher gives him too much. Picking them up, the man leaves the kitchen to dispose of the corpses and gives Patsy his opportunity to escape, and he sneaks up behind the man and knocks him out. Okay, the kitchen was reversing, and the guy made the right decision. He makes sense to have a ground weapon and bite away at the skin as he can, but it doesn't then take effect opportunities. The man has a nose to him, and can't get up. The body staggers out of and drops the floor and make a noise. The murder can't be your friends. It's a lot easier to find Actually, I think maybe he's like reacting to three videos.
basketball team. I really can't. subscribe to this guy because he is good at what he does and I'm definitely going to like this video because this guy knows how to beat every single horror movie man. That's insane. That's insane that he knows his, his stuff. So anyway my bees this has been your king of speed uh, reacting to um, how to beat every trap and hostel by how to beat. Go subscribe to him. Shout out to him because he's a great YouTuber, uh, content creator, and uh, yeah, I really did enjoy Hostel, the film series. I enjoyed Hostel 1, uh, Hostel Part 2, and Hostel Part 3. Uh, sadly, there's no Hostel Part 4, so, um, but it's still a good film series. Um... Anyway, my bees, if you enjoyed my reaction to how to beat every trap in Hostel, why not sting that subscribe button, sting that like button, sting that notification bell anytime I upload a new video, and comment down below, uh, did you like the Hostel series? Because I really did. Anyway, this has been Hero King of the Bees. Uh, wait, I just said that. Whoops. Uh, anyway, this is Your King of the Bees off this reaction video, and until next time, my bees, Stay brave and stay humble.